Welcome to Honest News. I'd like to warn my listeners of the rise of sensationalism in the religious world, which is nothing more than philosophy. How many know that? This is philosophy. And um, so sensationalism is basically... Uh, journalism, and it's used to excite or to shock, okay, exciting and shocking stories or language at the expense of accuracy in order to provoke public interest or excitement. It's the same thing Jonathan Kahn is doing. Uh, but I want to expose Tim Horn and his sidekick. Um, folks, you got to understand, th these are not men of God. They're not ministers. Okay? They're deceiving people. It's sensationalism, and it sells books. It sells books. Now, you've been warned. Now, what you do with that warning's up to you, but I must lift up my voice and warn you. These are not real ministers of the gospel. They call themselves doctors and, uh, you know, it's nothing more than sensationalism. That's all it is. I'm going to play a little clip for you here. I want you to see the deception and if you can't see through this, then I don't know how much hope there is for you. So let me go ahead and play this for you.
if you folks can't see through that, then I question if you're even saved. Seriously. That's nothing more than sensationalism. That's all that is. It's not biblical. There's nothing in the Bible that even remotely supports this foolishness. Um, so let me bring you to that word again, sensationalism. I want you to see something here. It says, journalism, the use of exciting or shocking stories or language at the expense of accuracy. Well, let's just say it this way, at the expense of truth. Hello? This has to do with phenomena, you know, in the realm of the phenomena, okay? The reason I'm exposing these two deceivers is because they find their way on TV programs like Jim Baker and uh, It's Supernatural. And There's a lot of people out there that are following this sensationalism. And it, like I said, it's not just these two guys. There's several out there. But they come off like they're the authority. And then there are those that, you know, introduce them like they're the authority on prophecy. They're in full 100% of uh, support of Donald Trump. 100,000% of... Uh, and these are the guys that get excited when they hear about the rebuilding of the Third Temple. You see what I mean? There's nothing there that's reality. There's nothing there of truth. Uh, it, it's all about writing books. And Tom, T Tom Horn has written so many books. And he hasn't even real. I don't even think he wrote the books, to be honest with you. I think he authors them, but I think he has ghostwriters, in my opinion. Maybe he throws some, some things together. Uh, but nothing... In fact, he just said on a program, I was listening, he was on this program, and this, uh, this man, the, the host of the program, was saying uh, that Tom Horn uh, was a great uh, historian and a great uh, minister, and he has a talent of studying God's word and finding things. And, and he said of his own words, uh, Tom Horn, he said, no, he says, I just, re memorize, I just memorize the things you all say, and then I write books. Well, I mean, he just came right out and said what he does. <laughs> and uh, so there's no connection here with the Holy Spirit. There, and I would, even, I would even say that Tom Horn and uh, his sidekick there, I would say they're both, neither one of them are saved. They don't even know the true Jesus. They don't even know what it is to be saved. And they may even be Freemasons, for all I know. You know, sending people on rabbit trails, keeping people distracted. Uh, but unearthing the lost, uh, you know, the lost cloud eaters. I mean, who, who are the cloud eaters? It's so dumb. Since when do God's people, true ministers, turn to Indians for their information, to find out, to learn things? Again, this is nothing more than sensationalism, people. Stephen Quayle and uh, Tom Horn, they're both, they're both deceivers. That's what they are. They're deceivers. They're sensationalists. And they make a lot of money doing it. And they sell, I'm telling you, a lot of books, people. Skywatch TV is not, in my opinion, is, is not a, um, a channel or a, uh, or a website where God's people should be uh, finding information. These men are not to be trusted. Did you hear what I said? They're not to be trusted. 
So if you continue to listen to these deceivers and you're deceived in the end, remember, you were warned. You were warned. But I will tell you right now, Tom Horn, they don't believe there's going to be a rapture. More and more, like Jim Baker, you know, they all believe they're going to end up in the Great Tribulation. And remember, Tom Horn is very much involved in the return of the Nephilim, okay? Just because, the let me say this, just because the Scripture says, as it was in the days of Noah, just because it says, and it was Jesus that said these words, he says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. He never mentioned the giants. He never mentioned Nephilim. What Jesus did mention right after he said that was, they will be eating and drinking and giving in marriage and taking in marriage. He didn't say anything about, quote unquote, the watchers. No such thing as the watchers. That comes from the book of Enoch, which Tom Horn alludes to all the time. I mean, he's constantly using that book. People, you need to understand that these deceivers are sensationalists. That's what they are. And I just gave you the definition of sensationalism. Okay? So now let's, let's take a look at some scripture. Acts chapter 17, verse 18. Then certain philosophers, then we just look at this word, sensationalism, philosophy. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and the Stoics encountered him, and some said, what will this babbler say? Others, some, he seemeth to be a set of forth of strange gods because he preached unto them Jesus and the resurrection. So let's go on to the next verse. And they took him and brought him unto Aeropagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is. This is what I want you to see right here. This is what Tom Horn and uh, Stephen Quayle are both involved with. All right? This next verse here. See if I can find it. You see, I think I actually... One moment. There's a certain, uh, huh. okay, well, let's, let's start with this first. For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears, we would know thereof what these things mean. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. That was the verse right there. That's the, what I was trying to find. But either to tell or to hear some new thing. That's philosophy, people. That's philosophy. That is sensationalism. Okay? Okay? And let me just say this, journalism, you know, Brian, uh, what was his name? The news guy there that got fired, the uh, Brian something, can't remember his last name, but these journalists, you know, for the ABC, Fox News, they're not journalists. They're journalists in the sense of sensationalism, yes. But there was a time when journalists actually, um, you know, they actually, uh, what do you call it? Because this is what uh, Tom Horn says he does. 
in investigation. They're not investigating anything uh, of truth, okay? Just like Brian Williams, that was his name, in the news, you know, he was, uh, he was fired because he lied about, uh, you know, he was saying that certain things happened and, and they never happened. He lied about it, okay? And so that hurt the credibility of the news uh, outlet that he was working with. But these guys here, Tom Horn calls himself an investigator, okay? I'm not sure if he considers himself to be a journalist, but that's what he is according to sensationalism, okay? But the main focus of these individuals is to, to excite and to shock. Are you listening? At the expense of accuracy. If you look at all of Tom Horn's information, you look at all of uh, uh, the books that they have put out, you will find that Steve Quayle, Tom Horn, and even Jonathan Kahn, all these liars, they all sacrifice accuracy. In my opinion, they're sacrificing truth. That's truth. Accuracy is truth. How many know that? They're not trying to be accurate. They want to give you just enough information to make you think that they know what they're talking about and keep you on the hook. Keep dangling that carrot, as it were, in front of you and never giving you the goods. That's what keeps the books rolling. Hello, people. That's what keeps people longing and looking and, and, and following these liars. As long as they can pique your interest and keep your interest, they can keep rolling out the books. Are you listening? I guarantee you Tom Horn's a millionaire. Guaranteed. So, I've warned you. I've given you warning. What you do with that is up to you, people. But these philosophers are not ministers of the gospel. They're not to be trusted.